Another cool feature of Scratch is that it lets you add sound to things. So in this case, let's say we want the ball to make a sound whenever it hits the paddle or where it, whenever it hits the edge of the screen. So it's like a little more interesting. It's like a bouncing sound or pop. So in order to do this, what we need is to use the sounds menu right there. And so we're going to use the play sound block. So for any sprite, so you can see here we have the ball sprite selected. There's not only a scripts tab, but a costumes tab and a sounds tab. So we can assign a sound. You can even record your own sounds. Or if you click this, you could choose something from the sound library. Okay, we are going to choose the pop, but as you can see, there's lots and lots and lots of options here. So we're gonna cancel this now. You can explore that at another time. So if we go up here, in this if block, everything in this little area happens if the ball is touching um, sprite one, which is the paddle. So in order, if we want something else to happen, like a sound to happen in there, let's add that. So now, if you play that, you hear the popping sound. But you don't hear the popping sound when it hits the wall. So in order to do that, we have to add another if. Still in the forever loop, but outside the if for touching the paddle. So we go to control, we get another if then block, we put it there. We don't want the if on edge bounds. We want to make sure that's outside of everything because that is going to happen anyway. So this little hexagon here, it means it's waiting for a little trigger. In this case, we're going to say if touching, pull it down, the edge, which is the edge of the screen, then we'll also go over here and play a sound. So now if we plus the green, green flag, it should pop every time it bounces. See how it kind of stumbled along the surface of that paddle? Here's another thing we're going to correct in this video. So that is not something you really want to happen. Believe it or not, it's because the program is working too fast. So you can fix that. If you go to control and we use a waiting block and just have it wait for a tiny bit of time right there. So it's still in this paddle block. Let's make a really short amount of time. So 0 0.05 seconds. So that's half of a tenth of a second. Now let's see what happens. Magic! Because it waits that tiny amount of time, it no longer is changing directions five or six or ten times really fast when it hits that paddle. So sometimes if things are not working, Believe it or not, slowing the program down a little bit sometimes helps. And that's how to add sound.